Hey everybody, Hank here, and it's Friday afternoon and I wanted to share a bit about a new demo that I've been working on uh, that ties together source control systems, chat ops, and keeping your network configuration in sync. I'm calling it the Cisco NXOS Netbox Sync. Now the idea here is that uh, we store all of our information about our network, our interface descriptions, which interfaces are supposed to be up versus down, uh, VLAN information, all of that gets stored in our source control system. And so for us, that's Netbox, and I think a lot of you use Netbox as well. And now what I want to do is make sure that my switches actually stay in sync with that source of truth. So in the drawing here, we can see I've got my Nexus switch down here in the bottom, and it checks in with Netbox to learn all about what it's supposed to be configured and then it can go ahead and configure itself and then notify um, my team through WebEx Teams using that chat op system that's there. Now some of the tech that we're going to use for this is PyATS, which has long been a, uh, one of my favorite tools for doing network validation. This will be the first time I really dove into it for using some network configuration as well. And then for this application, we'll dockerize it so that we can actually run it portably and even run it on the switch itself. Let's see it in action. All right, so here we are in my workspace. On the side over here, I've got my Netbox configuration, and we can see that I've got my DC Access 1 switch is what we're looking at. And then over on the side are my couple of terminals. Down here in the bottom, I'm connected to my switch. If I do a show run VLAN, we can see that I've got some VLANs configured, and do a show interface uh, description. We can see that I've got descriptions on some of these interfaces. Now up at the top, here's where I'm going to start the actual application, that Netbox Sync. And in this case, I'm going to run it on my laptop first. So I'm going to do a make docker run. And this is just a shortcut using the make file uh, syntax to start up the docker version of this on my laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and fire that off. Now as we can see down here at the bottom, it's gone ahead and started up and it's entered into the PyATS docker image. That was my base image. And then it activated the workspace and it's starting my NXOS Netbox Sync and then activating the environment. Now the first thing it does here is it goes ahead and it connects off to the device and makes sure it can communicate with Netbox that's there and we can start to see the outputs here for its initial check. It starts by retrieving the current device status using PyATS. It then, ooh, I'm gonna scroll to the top here so we don't miss what we were looking at here. Ooh, where did it go? There we go. And then we can see it looks for the intended state from Netbox and now it goes ahead and runs tests to see if all of the configuration is in place. And now here on the kind of the, the console output, I can see results. The green check marks are good. These are cases where in this case, the VLANs exist with the correct name on the switch and I look in good shape there. I run down next, it's checking to make sure that the interfaces are enabled. And so we can see all the interfaces that should be enabled are currently up and up as they're supposed to be. It then looks for interface descriptions. So that you do the interface descriptions from Netbox match what's actually on the switch. We can see that so far all those look in pretty good shape. So I'm scrolling down through all my interfaces. Uh, my Nexus 9000 switch has got 128 virtual interfaces on it. So uh, lots of them there to check through. We then look for interface mode. Are these configured as access ports or trunk ports as they're supposed to be and dictated inside of Netbox? And we can see I'm in good shape there. Green checks all the way down. And then we look for interface VLANs. So they're, whether their trunks or access have been checked, now are they configured to trunk the right VLANs? Are they configured to, with the right access VLAN on there? And so we can see here Ethernet 1.2 is currently trunking all VLANs, and that's what it's supposed to be. And then we can see the other ones as configured. So all the green check marks, everything is currently in line. Um, and we can see the way that the applications run is every 10 seconds, it goes ahead and it checks and validates that we're still in sync. So if I scroll to the bottom, we'll actually see that it's run several times at this point. I'm just going to get us to the bottom. And it's currently in a test. So now let's go ahead and actually fire off uh, some changes and see what happens. And so the, what I'll do is let's say on the device itself, we, um, something were to be changed out of line. And so I'll go ahead and say, we'll remove a VLAN. So config T. And I'll say VLAN, I don't know, 101. We'll say no VLAN 101, no VLAN 11. I'll knock out a couple of them there. And now we'll see if I whether I uh, made that change at the right spot. Oh, and I did. So we can see right here, already it popped up with a red X. Missing, VLAN 11 is missing from the switch. VLAN 101 is missing from the switch. And if I scroll through, we'll see all the rest look like they're green. And then, oh. Down here, what we end up to is we can see interface VLAN tests. VLAN 11 is not configured on the switch, so we obviously that couldn't be on the interface as it needs to be. Same thing with VLAN 11 on these other ones. So we can see the issues, 
And now it gets into where it's actually going to go ahead and fix those. And so it's reporting creating VLAN 11 on the switch, creating VLAN 101 on the switch, and then updating to make sure that the interfaces that were affected by removing that VLAN get updated correctly as well. So these get set as tagged. And then it uh, looped back through and did another test. And so now we should see that we are passing successfully. And so my script was able to make sure that, hey, those VLANs, those interfaces were supposed to be configured appropriately and got them locked up the way that they're supposed to be done. Now I mentioned the chat ops piece of this. If I flip over, we can actually see inside of WebEx Teams the notification that came in. And so we can see inside of my environment, my NXOS switch reported back, the following VLANs from Netbox are not correctly configured. And then we can see down here where it says, okay, not correctly configured on me. Oh, this was a this first one was a previous test I did before the video. This is the one from the video. So we can see here 11 and 101 were removed. We can see the interfaces that had problems. And then it was notified that it was updating the VLAN and the switch port configurations. And so chat apps make sure the entire team knows that's that's there. Now what about the other way? What if we configure something and add it in Netbox that isn't on the switch yet? Let's go ahead and try that out. Uh, for this one, we'll go ahead and we'll add a new VLAN. So I'll jump over here, and this is my demo group VLAN uh, group inside of Netbox, and we can see all the VLANs that are currently configured. We'll go ahead and say, let's add a new VLAN down here. We'll say we're going to add VLAN 105. We'll call this the demo new VLAN. And I will just go ahead and create this VLAN. And then we've created it here, and now over in our logs, we will look and see when that gets picked up. So remember, it's been running all along. So these are uh, logs from previous runs that have been going before I made the change. But fairly soon, I should be able to find where that VLAN, there it is. Oh, it's actually, we're catching it right live. Right there. Ah, where did it go? Where did it go? There we go. Right here, we can see where it ran the test to see if the VLANs from Netbox were configured. VLAN 105, demo new VLAN exists, but with the wrong name on the switch. So it went ahead and it scrolled down and down here in the bottom, we should see it getting updated correctly. Uh, running interface, oh, it's still running the interface VLAN test. You know, it's probably easier to see this just in the chat. So if we go back to WebEx, we can see here, the following VLANs from Netbox are not correctly configured on me. 105, demo v new VLAN, and it updated the VLAN configuration to make that accurate as it goes in. All right, well, that's all I wanted to show today. Uh, I'll probably do some more videos on uh, diving deeper into how I built this code. I'm still working on getting all the README documentation up on GitHub so that folks can really take a look at it. But I wanted to give you a taste because I've been working on this for so long and was pretty excited to get it out there. Thanks, everybody.